Hello everyone, my name is Nick and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. We are back yet again. Uh, however, this time there's something actually exciting to talk about. The developers have just released the third patch for the game and with it we got three brand new rocket engines. Uh, we're going to take a look at those today. So first, well, let me get them all out here. Uh, there's one right here. And here is the other. So here they are we got a small a medium and a large so let's first look at the cornet cornet i want to say coronet but it's not uh let's see so this is a deep space methalox engine uh so one thing they've added in this update if you look at so say this engine for example where it says lvt45 below that it says sustainer so i explained this in a previous video but basically sustainer means once it's off the pad, that's the engine that gets it to orbit. There's also the launcher, which is the engine that gets it off the pad. And then you have the deep space engine. Wow, deep space engine. <laughs> that's the one that navigates or helps you get places once you're in space. Uh, so I think it would be fun. Well, first let's compare. So we got our, we got our sustainer, we got our deep space. Uh, so the max thrust of the deep space engine is only 6.6 .6 kilonewtons on Earth. So one atmosphere means on or on Kerbal. Uh, the sustainer is 188.1. So that's quite a bit more. Um, and you could see the thing that the deep space engine has that's greater than the sustainer is the ISP vacuum. So that's the very bottom number. It's 320 for the sustainer. 375 for the deep space. The simple way of explaining that is that it means the deep or the cornet is better in deep space. It's more efficient. It can produce more total movement from your craft, basically. Whereas this one can produce more thrust in less time. That's not a very good way of explaining it, <laughs> but deal with it. Deal with it. Uh, okay, so first, even though we know this is not going to work, um, the engine, we should test fire it. So we're going to build a rocket, a very simple rocket with our good friend, what? <laughs> yeah, let's put it, let's put it there. That makes sense. Our good friend, someone, we'll see who, um... Let me add the necessary things here. Just to get a baseline idea for how powerful these engines are. Uh, and then, so I know this is not going to work. Once it doesn't work, we're going to launch this deep space engine into space. And we're going to see, is it useful in deep space? What's it like? How does it work? Because that's what we do here. We investigate things. Nope, that's not right. Uh, nope, that's not right. There we go. Okay, um, this stage and this stage. Okay. The Delta V is 710. That's not good. <laughs> what? What just happened? Is it firing? It does appear to... Oh, it is firing. It is producing thrust. <laughs> However, the thrust is not enough. Oh. Nope. Nope. Uh, okay. Well, that answers that question. Um, let's revert to the VAB. So this, this tells us, as we already knew, that the deep space engine is not good on the planet. So now, we're going to strap two very large boosters to this guy. So let's do some actual rocket design. Rarely, if ever, do I do that in this game. Uh, underneath of this, I'm going to put a... Mm, nope, that's not right. Nope. I just want the... This one... Uh, and then a medium tank, and then a, 
what should we use, guys? What should we? In the mainsail, classic. Um, let's do some radial mount separators, radial decouplers, as they're called these days. That's what all the kids are saying. I'm just kidding. Um, sometimes I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah. Sure. 10,000 Delta V sounds good to me. Uh, let's see here. Where is the aerodynamics? There we go. Yeah, when I was at the Wallops uh, flight facility, it's really cool to hear about all the different missions that they do uh, and just get an idea of like, oh, this is all messed up now. Here? Yeah. So like, the advantage of sounding rockets you can't actually put something in space permanently because this is going to be a problem. Uh, because, of course, uh, you know. Uh, yep. I'm trying to figure out. I didn't add any way for this to turn. Um, yeah. Anyway, sounding rockets. It's very hard well, very expensive to actually put something in a stable orbit. Um, and sometimes, like, if you want to do an experiment, you need a little bit of data that has to be taken in space. The easiest way to do that is with a sounding rocket because you literally go up, you go into space, stay there for, you know, like five to ten minutes while the rocket is traveling in its arc. You do your science and then you either transmit it or you recover it. This is a problem, Jettison. Oh, oh no! I should have added RCS. Okay, come on. We just want to go up. It's not really that hard. Hmm. For some reason, this rocket of mine seems to want to go down. Why ever could that be? Okay, fine, we'll give it its wish. See how quickly we can get going. We are headed directly for the, the VAB. Oh no, it's become a supersonic missile. Oh no! It's a direct hit! <laughs> I couldn't have done that if I tried. Um, yeah, sounding rocks are great for cheap, cheap science. Uh, they're much cheaper than any other kind of mission. So if you have science to do and it needs to be cheap, that's how you do it. Might be able to get away with adding some attitude adjustment thrusters and maybe, let's see, maybe an RCS system. Yeah, let's do that. I think there's a ring, isn't there? Yeah, stabilizer. Small. I'll add two along with a battery because reasons. There we go, small inline. Nice. These are excessive. Uh, well, they're probably not excessive actually, but I don't like the wiggles. I actually love the wiggles, I just don't like the wiggly boosters. So let's put this on here. Nice. Aerodynamics. Small. <laughs> nice. Going to move these down because you don't want them to contact the rocket when they fall off. It looks great. It looks great, guys. It's great. Great rocket. Staged properly. No. Not staged properly. This, and then, yeah, this needs to switch. Okay, here we go. Go! Okay, go! Okay, go! <laughs> great success, great success. Oh, oh. We've just created an obstacle for ourselves here. Okay, um, pitch east. 
Pitch east. Not. Don't get out of control. RCS. RCS. No. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Doesn't want to work today. That's fine. I have another way of testing this. Uh, revert to the VAB. We'll make a plane with it. We will make a plane with a deep space methyl ox engine. Just to offend all of the people that take this game seriously. Uh, okay, let's delete the whole craft. Start from scratch. Let's do mid-size, medium. Uh, we want to be efficient. We need to be light. So let's, yeah, this should be good. Let's do, mm -hmm. actually, maybe, May maybe, perhaps, perhaps maybe, tuba. Hmm, <laughs> uh, no, not the skipper. I gotta at least use the right kind of engine, there we go. Okay, um, also related, if you watch my other video on this update to the game, they improved the wings dramatically. They made them so much more pleasant. They just work a lot better now, um, which I really appreciate as someone who almost exclusively builds planes. Um, so thank you, developers. Thank you very much for doing that. You saved me a lot of trouble. There we go. Very nice. Um, I'm going to add very small control surfaces back here. Yeah, okay. This is an abomination of a plane. I hate it, but it is mine. There we go. Let's build that there. And let's put these here. Rotate. Beautiful. Oh, it's like she was born to fly. 50-50 <laughs> shot, it makes it off the runway. 50-50 shot. Okay. Well, right off the bat, again, notice how the wings are not being weird for no reason on the runway. Oh. I love how it extends. That's so cool. Okay, it does in fact produce thrust. Is it gimbaled? Is it gimbaled? Yeah, it looks gimbaled. Nice. Look at the look at the modeling on that. Look at the let's get you in close here. Very nice. We got all our pipes and stuff. Uh nice blue fire. Very cool. I love that. Oh, oh, why, why, why? Okay, we'll take off, I guess. Um, oh, oh, this is, this is not good. This is actually bad. <laughs> okay, landing gear out, landing gear out. Quickly, <laughs> landing gear out. Okay. We need to gather more speed. Oh, no, come on. Save it, save it, save it. Okay. Let's gather some more speed. Let's gather some more. <sighs> My creations hate me. They hate me for bringing them into the world. <laughs> oh no. I think these trees are fake. Yeah, they are, okay. There's our little SpaceX recovery launch pad. I don't even know why I'm persisting at this point. This thing has no chance of surviving. Oh, okay. Let's just make you a car. You're like a really cool car. Think like a car, Bob. Think like a car. I'm not even... Okay, now we don't have an engine. Oh, we just got a lot lighter. The landing gearless landing. Great success, as Borat would say. Very well done. Not sure what's holding this on, but... There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The new Deep Space Engines. <laughs> I tried them in probably the worst ways possible. Um, but it is cool. There are first new parts since the game has been released. So that's very exciting. I know they also added new docking parts. Uh, and I think 
let's, you know what, let's go to the VAB. Let's go to the VAB. We'll do a quick overview of what they added. Um, lots of new goodies to play around with, especially if you're a more advanced player, uh, unlike myself. So uh, I believe this is new. I don't remember seeing that before. I don't think this is e it, well, I do think this is new. Um, and then fuel tanks. There is a new one. This one. Never seen that before. <laughs> uh, as a matter of fact, I think most of these are new. Um, so a couple new monopropellant fuel tanks. I believe this is also new. So a couple new fuel tanks. Love this guy. Absolutely wonderful addition to this game. Yes. Here, wait. Can I, like... Can I, like... Hmm, yes. She's perfect. <laughs> okay. Um, we got three new engines. The Cornet, the Trumpet, and the Tuba. Deep Space engines, all three. Uh, and then we also got... Oh, I actually... I did this in my other video. Air brakes. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um... But yeah, this is very exciting. Even if it is a little inconsequential, we got new stuff for the first time since the game's been released. I hope the developers um, continue to do more of this and continue to give us more content, especially now that the, the frame rate and the performance bugs are starting to be sorted. At least it seems that way for me. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any feedback or if you want to see anything in particular, please leave a comment. Uh, and if you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.